Africa's groom. First, I'd uh, like to apologize. I'm not usually in a situation where I'm officiating a wedding so close after murdering a major celebrity. <laughs> I hope you'll uh, ask me to forgive me and will just work with me. Here's your groom. What's your name, sir? Uh, Will. All right, Will. <laughs> All right, Will. Your best man for the evening is Jonathan Colton. And we're going to call the bridesmaid up next. Come on up. And the bridesmaid will be our own Molly Lewis. <laughs> also, to sing a wedding benediction, we have Jean Grey. For the wedding procession for the bride, I'm going to ask you all to hum the wedding march. On the count of three. sea monkeys. <laughs> so, just to be sure, this whole wedding thing, get down with it. Yes. And? Absolutely. Okay. Wow. You are ready. <laughs> that is excellent. I'm so pleased to be here to officiate the wedding of Will and Renee. It was a kind of exciting moment for me. Uh, they came to me earlier this evening and they said, what are you doing later? <laughs> and I said, I don't know. What, what, is there something going on? They're like, oh, we might just maybe ask you to marry us. And I was like, oh, fine. <laughs> so I drag in some friends in, and uh, here we are. And uh, we're going to get a little more serious now, and uh, we're going to ask Jean Grey to come up and sing a little something to the bride and groom before we get to the actual homily. So Jean Grey, take it away. Come forward. 
and bless this is that there's a lot of love between you. And I'm going to give you some actual serious advice now. I have been married for 20 years this next June. And uh, people often ask me, how have you made the marriage last? And I always give them the one thing that works for us. And maybe it won't work for you, but maybe it will, and we'll give it to you anyway. I wake up in the morning, the first thing I say to my wife is, I love you. I, uh, we're leaving the house, and I say to her is, I love you. She wants me to take out the trash. She goes, I love you. <laughs> I want some ice cream. I'm like, I love you. <laughs> we say, I love you a lot. I love you means a lot of different things. But at the end of the day, what it means is that we are reminding ourselves every day, all the time, that that love is there. When you remind yourself that the love is there, it reinforces that love. So every day, no matter what you do, start it with I love you. End it with I love you. And the longer you do that, the truer it will become. All right, let's get to the whole bow thing. Ah, uh, do we have the ring? All right. Why don't we start with well, well, go ahead. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Do you promise to love, cherish, honor, hold precious above all, Renee, forever and ever, until death do you part? I do. Excellent. Give her that. Word. Molly, give her the ring. Woo! Renee, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Do you promise to honor, love, cherish, hold precious above all will today, tomorrow, and every day for the rest of your life? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. By the power vested in me by our monarch of the seas. Well, Renee, you're married. Kiss each other. 